the program, I'm going to tell you what it's doing for me. First, the first thing I'm going to tell you that's doing for me is that it loves me. The people in Magdalen love me and so I can love myself. I've only been in the program eight months. I feel like God has touched my life within that eight months. Something happened when I got to Magdalen. I can't tell you what. I think it's, I can't tell you what. I think I believe in Jesus touched my life. And ever since then, I have the best relationship I've ever had with my, with my Lord. Um, but Magdalene offers me, if I have uh, some health problems, they, let, they take me to the doctor and they pay for it. I have some mental problems. I lost a tooth due to my drug and alcohol addiction. They're going to take me to the dentist. I'm going to get a partial put in. If I had any mental problem. <laughs> 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 they will also take care of those things. But you know, some of us women do have special needs. And they're always been so loving and so kind to all of us. And, and they accept all of us with open arms. Um, not only that, they provide me with a home. I live in a brand new home. I have hardwood floors. I have a really nice house and I'm, I'm very grateful to have this house. And I have four other roommates. And then, you know, we learn what we do is learn how to interact with each other on a healthy in a healthy way. Um, not only that, but we we pray together. You know, something a lot of us have never done. We learn some manners. We learn how to interact with other people. You know, I mean, some of us. I mean, you get out. You know, I know it's, it's laughing saying right now, but you get out on the streets and you're out on the streets and you're running the streets. And I know maybe none of you know that a lot of people think. Those people are different on the street. But let me tell you something. I grew up in a private, I went to a, school, a church every Sunday. I went to a private school. It can touch any life. You know, alcoholism and drug addiction doesn't discriminate. It can be your job. But this program has loved me and taught me to love myself. You know, and give my, give my, I now have self-respect. Something I've never had. I have self-worth. Something I've never had. You know, it's only by the grace of God and this program and back of what she's done for other people that I'm able to have a pair of nice clothes and to come here and have some makeup, be able to fix my hair and come and come with her and be able to be here. You know, it's been a gift from God. But God's working in my life through back and through some of the other women and for that I'm extremely grateful. You know, I don't know if Beck wants me to talk about thistle farms. The thistle is a weed that grows Without even being watered, it grows. And it grows in cracks. And it grows through concrete. It grows in places people don't find a lot of beauty. But when the thistle, when the thistle does grow, the plant at the when it the plant blossoms as a beautiful purple flower. You know, and we think that we were on those streets and we were knocked around and rough and tough and grow up and but yet, when you clean us up, we're, we resemble the purple flower. Beauty. And it's awesome. And if people would just give us a chance, like they just given me a chance, I have a chance to have new life again. And I have God working in my life. And I'm not alone anymore. I was devastated. I was out there alone. I was destitute. I didn't know what I was going to do. And somebody opened a door for me. A drug addict. A criminal. An alcoholic gave me a key to the front door and said, This is your house. I will not come in unless you know. I'm knocking you open. Trust me. The TV's not going to go out the front door. I'm not going to call them. These are some of the things that happen when people use drugs. You know? Did my family think I was going to die? I didn't wake up one day and say, Hey, I choose to be a drug addict. You know, this program has been a wonderful program. Not just the 26 women in this program. We love each other. We argue, we work through it, we work together, and in the end it's beautiful. And I'm just really blessed that I'm a part of what she's doing today. She's, uh, I mean, she's an angel. And she sent, to, she sent to me from God, I know that. She saved my life. And for that I'm truly grateful. Thank you so much.